Yes, it is another interesting time to be here at Dr. Mlerwa's lecture. So it is a time where we are going to discuss about physics. So at this time, uko na mimi engineer Anoli. So today we are going to discuss about physics. Na tutakuwa natumia lugha ya Kiswahili pamoja na Kiingereza kwa mbali sana. Kwa lugha yetu kubwa itakuwa ni Kiswahili lakini kwa sababu mtando kwa ajili ya Kiingereza so kuna baadhi ya terminology za Kiingereza tutakuwa tukizitumia. So as usual kama wewe utakuwa ni mgeni kwenye channel Dr. Mlelo as lecture kama ndio siku leo ni mara yako ya kwanza basi mimi naitwa engineer Arnold Amri. E, kwa wale ambao wamesoma vipindi vya chemistry na biology wamefundishwa na mtu mmoja anaitwa Dr. Mlelo wala utakaosoma physics na mathematics basi tutakuwa pamoja kupitia Dr. Mlelo as lecture na naamini kwamba kupi kama uta ndela kusoma kupitia Dr. Mlelo as lecture basi kusoma vipindi vimoja viwili topic yote utakapokuja utakapojikuta umeelewa basi hautatamani tena ukasome kwingine sisi Dr. Mlelo as lecture we are the best basi let's go to our class now na leo tuko kwenye topic ya kwanza hiyo inaitwa introduction to physics yani pale ndio umetoka na sala saba e, unafika hapo tunaanza kugonga kwanza introduction to physics what is physics e, kwa tisa, leo tunaenda kuichambua sasa ukisikia mtu anakuambia fizikia eh fizikia ni nini fizikia ni very 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 interesting subject e, it is very very interesting subject so let's go to our class na let's go to our class ngo ni close darasa moja mhm mm So today tansamia jamani <coughs> kikozi kidogo kimenipitia. So today we're going to discuss about physics. Tunaenda kuangalia kuhusu nini physics. Sa nini maana ya physics? Tunaposema physics unakuwa naandika hapo pembeni jamani. Physics is the study of oh sorry sorry tusianze hivi in the branch of science which deal with the relation relation So we are, we are talking about physics. This is a branch of science. Physics is a branch of science. Physics is a branch of science which deals with the relation of matter and energy. Na kwa Kiswahili ni kwamba physics ni ni sehemu ya science ambayo inahusika na mahusiano kati ya maada na nini na nguvu. Sio ni na kani, sio ni kani, sio ni nguvu kani na kani. So sio ni nice ni hivyo kani sio ya nini e, kani ya msukumo sio kani ya nini e, nishasahau mimi kile Kiswahili cha kwa natumia shule ya msingi so kati mahusiano yaliopo kati ya ma, ya maada maada na sasa zile maada halisi maada bisi maada kiminika maada ile sio maada ya kiminika ya bisi ya gesi na hizi energy kama nguvu ni nguvu sasa Napokuwa naongelea energy nilikuwa naongelea vitu mbalimbali na kuna kuna sun ene, solar energy ambayo ni nguvu ya solar kuna nini kuna sound energy so ule mhusiano ndio hivyo lakini sasa kwa form 1 hivi vitu huwa vinakaliliwa kwa form 1 amna jinsi nyingine ya kufaulu kama sio jinsi ya kufaulu so in general ni kwamba yani hii definition ilivyo hivi kwamba physics is a branch of science which deals with the relation of matter and energy na, na hapa chini ndo define matter what is matter is the ns that have weight is n thing that has weight sorry has weight and can occupy space and can occupy what space so that is the matter so matter is anything that has weight and can occupy what space so that is matter so 
physics tumeshaona definition yake sasa kwa maelezo zaidi turudi kwenye kitabu hapa ni kwamba hapo ngila physics yenu sio ni kwamba ni kitu cha ajabu physics ukielewa vibaya huko mwanzoni ukaona kama ni kitu fani kigumu sana hautakipenda hautakipenda unaanza kuona kitu kigumu lakini physics ni kitu ambacho kinataka tu wewe unaelewa mazingira nyumbani kwenu yakoje usiwe mgumu kuimagine physics inaenda na imagination yani wewe nikikuuliza swali la physics wewe una uwezo wa kurudi nyumbani wewe una uwezo wa kwenda kwa ndugu yako kwa rafiki yako kukutana na mashine fulani na kuivutia picha ukiwa mgumu kufanya imagination kwenye physics physics itakuwa ngumu physics ni nyepesi sana kwa sababu ina na vitu ambavyo ni natural so the word physics originate from the a greek word called what physicals hivi vitu unaviandika kwenye daftari lako hivi the word physics originated from the greek word called what physicals which means what which means nature and upon the physics na study to the study of nature nature. Yaani usije kuandika sasa hivi kwenye mtihani. So, so in short yani kwa kizamani hivi kuna zamani sana kwa Greek. Na kwa anavyoongelea physics wanaongelea kitu kinaitwa nature. Yaani ile kuwepo tu kwa vitu vile vile existing. Sasa napokuwa naongelea physics naongelea vitu ambavyo kwa mfano tunapoongelea lunar eclipse, solar eclipse, napoongelea mambo ya kuchomoza na kuzama kwa jua napoongelea upindo wa mvua ile rainbow napoongelea kumlipuko ya volcano volcanic eruption zile ndio ndio vitu ambavyo vinahusiana na physics unapokuta time imewaka nyumbani kwenu ile ndio physics yenyewe sasa kwa ni vitu ambavyo sio vigumu yani unaofikiria taa nyumbani kwenu inawaka ile ndio physics ukiwa na songo gari pale gari kwa unachemka ile physics kwa hivi vitu kama solar eclipse hizo eclipse hizo zimetokea hiyo sio ni solar eclipse imetokea hapo hii ni hii ni mambo ya kuchomoza na kutokeza kwa jua so among the most important form of energy today is electricity so hizo naongelea example of energy so hapa tuanzie hapa so in doing so a student of physics get to learn more about matter and energy and how they are what intellect in each what interact in each other so energy So, unapoongelea energy pale mwanzo tumeshaongelea mad mata akati tuko kwenye ubao hapa tukasema example basi tusee tusee tufanye tuchukue an example za mata example za matters unaweza kuongelea what so uh, mata inaweza kawa nini wood paper water na vitu vingine ambavyo vinashikika na visivyoshikika vyote ni nini ni mata sababu kuna ma, kuna mata ambazo ni za liquid in term of english sasa liquid ndio tulikuwa nasema kimiminika kule shule ya msingi alafu kuna mata ambazo ni nini gas nadhani gas alafu pia kuna mata ambazo ni nini solid kule tulikuwa nasema za bisi solid Mhm. Kwa kwa kwenye pencil unakuwa naandika hapo. Solid ni tukana nasema ya bisi. So ili kupunguza vita. E, sasa ah napokuwa ninapongelea energy kuna energy za aina mbalimbali. Unajua unajua ukipikisha hivi mikono hivyo nikipikisha hivyo mikono nikipikisha hivyo mikono unasikia joto ndio kutengenezeka mikono ni mwangu. Sasa hiyo hiyo joto ndio kutengenezeka pale inaita ile ni heat energy kuna light energy inatokea kwenye taa kuna electricity energy electric energy electric energy electricity ni za mango of energy sasa nilikuwa naongelea uwezekano wa kuwepo kwa umeme sababu umeme na wewe unaweza kawepo lakini taa si wake ile taa yenyewe ni mata so kuwepo kwa ile mata na electricity mpaka ikatokea light ndio tunachoongelea kwenye physics kitu gani kimefanyika pale sasa sasa tusiongee sana hapo <laughs> mwanzoni Hayo tukaanza kuona tukaanza kufanya somo ilianza kuwa gumu. Eh. So sikuna mambo tu ambayo ni ambayo lazima uyajue kwamba eh point nyingine ambayo unaweza kuiandika ambayo uiandike pia katika nyingi ambazo umeandika kwamba the eh, person who study physics eh person who study physics 
is called what? Unaweza kunitajia hapo is called whom? Is called physicist. Physicist. So a person who study physics is called physicist. 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 Is called your home a physicist. So even yule ambao kwenye mtihani wanauliza hivyo form 1 mna maswali mengi. A person who study physics is called physicist. Define physics. Physics it is a, is a branch of science which deals with the what what. Define matter is the anything that have weight and can occupy space. Example of matter, wood, paper, utataja na vitu vyote ambavyo ni vya gas na solid na liquid. Water unaweza kuongezea hapo. Kwa ndo vitu ambavyo ndo kwa naulizaga hivyo hivyo form 1. So kama usipoelewa ah uh, anaweza kukupa kuna ka quiz yako anaweza kukafanya kwamba identify 10 items around your school and the home environment which use the concept of what of physics operation. Kwa unaweza unaweza kufikiria hapo. Nishakwambia ni unapofikiria physics usifikirie kwamba ni mavitu makubwa. Unapoona na taa hapo nyumbani kwa hiyo simu unayotumia hiyo ni physics. Eh hicho kiti ulichokalia hapo hiyo ni physics zimekuwa me, applied na hiyo concept za physics hapo. Kwa hiyo ni physics ni, kitu, ni vitu fani vya pesi vya pesi sana. Kwa hiyo Unaweza kujaribu kutaja vitu vitu ambavyo viko kwenye mazingira yako ambavyo vinohusiana nini na physics. So let's go on another point ni kwamba physics pamoja na mambo yote lakini maana nayo ina vipart. Mbona sema mbona physics to say is ni kitu ambacho kinahusisha na vitu ambavyo ni vya nature. Hasa kwenye physics ndio uko na mechanical physics, uko na heat, mambo ya heat kwenye physics, umo kuna mambo ya geophysics, kuna mambo ya astronomy. Oh, kuna mambo mengi yako mambo mengi sana kwenye physics. Mm, kuna mambo ya umeme umeme sio manini ya common ndani yote ma electronics kama unavyoona hapo watu wa magnetism wao. Kwa ukifika mambo utaenda kwa specify ukifika chuo huko. Huko kote chini uko form ngapi tukao nasoma tunavisoma hivi in general. Eh. Hasa tuanze kupiga kimoja kimoja kwa haraka haraka hapo afu kipindi kiishe. Mm. Na uh, the following are some of the branches of physics unaandika hapo kwamba the following are exam are some of the branches of what of physics eh uh, kuna branch ya kwanza physics ambayo inaitwa mechanics and mechanics is a branch of physics that, that deals with the object and either they are stationary or or in what in motion Yaani kifupi ni kwamba hii branch ya physics ni branch ya physics hii mechanics ni branch ya physics ambayo ina deal na vitu vikiwa weather viko kwenye motion. Weather viko viko kwenye motion au vikiwa kwenye vikiwa at station. Hapo ngile station haviko vikiwa vime vime, vime stop kwamba havitembei. Ndio kitu inaitwa stationary. Sta stationary. Na kwamba kitu kinakuwa kiko kwenye motion au kimfanyaje? Kimesimama whether they are stationary or what in motion so is the branch of physics that deal with the object are either in stationary are stationary or what are in motion so mara nyingi inakuwa ina 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 inaangalia sana mambo ya force acting on them and they what on the and the impact so kwenye hii mechanics kuna under these branches kuna aspect kama mambo ya linear motion kuna mambo ya circular motion na mambo ya oscillatory what motion of object so it e mechanics is it deals unaweza ukasiandike haya unaweza kusema kwamba mechanics kwa sababu part ya kwanza tumeona kwamba ni mechanics kwenye mechanics hapo ukishaandika definition hiyo unasema it deals it deals Jambo kwa hivi sio vya muhimu sana kwa mtihani hivyo sio hiyo na mtihani wote wameviuliza. So unaweza kuviongezea tu kwamba it deals with the linear motion, circular motion and oscillatory what motion. Kitu kama ya manotes yakawa mengi. Alafu mwisho wa siku kawa ukaona ukaona na material ambayo kichwa ni hayana kazi. So mechanics deals with the what with the linear motion, circular motion and oscillatory what motion. Kuna kipengele cha pili cha physics branches za physics hizo ambayo inaitwa heat. Kwenye heat hapa is the one among of the form of what for energy. Heat is among one, one of the form of what of energy. Ni moja hapo kati ya energy ambazo tunazo. Heat can be transformed from one point to another 
through eh, naongelea hit naongelea joto na kwa naongelea hali ya ujoto au ya ubaridi na kwa naongelea heat so ile hali ya ujoto inaweza kasafirishwa kwa njia mbalimbali kwa sababu njia mnuluisho njia msafara eh, kula katika shule ya msingi sasa huko tunabadilisha tunakuwa tunatumia kimombo eh nasema by conduction convection and what radiation so this is kwa maelezo mengine is not necessary sana because this is the branch of physics it describes the phenomenon of what the phenomenon of what phenomenon of matter when heat energy is what is applied to it so napokuwa naongelea kitu fulani kuna kuna topic moja iko from from 5 when it was heat tutaja kuisoma vizuri nje kukielewa hichi kipande so this is branch of physics ambayo ni heat describes the phenomena of matter when heat energy is what is applied to it so twende angalie branch nyingine ya physics ambayo inaitwa light light is a form of energy the in light now in form of energy ambayo inakuwa generated by what by sun sun is the main source yani sun is the main source of light light travel in a straight line sa so, tunasema kwamba we see object like mountain water bodies and their aid of light with the what with the aid kwa msaada wa nini kwa msaada wa mwanga unapoongelea light tunaongelea mwanga e, mwanga kio chanzo kikubwa kabisa cha mwanga ni nini ni jua so kuna kitu kuna branch hii ni branch ya tatu kuna branch ya nne inaitwa hizo wewe unaziandika <coughs> na hizo notes unasimamisha video unaandika unasimamisha video unaandika kwa ni vitu ambavyo ni vya msingi So kuna part nyingine inaitwa electromagnetism. Electromagnetism is a branch of physics which deals what with the interaction between what electromagnetic field and what and electricity and electric. So electric field na hizo magnetic field it has a what the wide range of application what in our daily life including generation of what of electricity and fabrication of what of motor. So hiyo ni kipande kipande cha 4 na kipande cha 5 ni to astronomy. Ninapoongelea astronomy tunaongelea ule unaji. Unaji. Watu wanao dilili na manyota nyota. So nyota hizi za waganga ambazo wanakutabiliwa na nyota, nyota pia nini nimefanya hii, sio meiziba, sio meiba. Nyota waibi bwana. Nyota ni kubwa sana, ni kubwa sana nyota. So astronomy deals the study of what of the universe, universe. Au tunasema cosmos is the study of what universe or what cosmos and everything contained on earth in it the word astronomy originated from the two greek word what Astro- astroni which means what star and what and moons astronomy inajikwa generated by what star and what and moon so ni watu ambao wanakuwa na deal astronomy ni kipangele cha physics ambacho kinahusika na mambo ya study of what moons and star vitu ambavyo viko outside viko huko nje ya dunia huko nje huko juu kabisa huko nje jua lipo huko kwenye manyota nyota kule wanao study vile vitu ndio wana, wana watu wa nini watu wa astronomy so kipengele cha sita kinaitwa geophysics kiko form 6 hiki form 6 na form 4 eh form 4 kiko kidogo form 6 na nini form 4 na eh, tukiangalia hicho kipengele inaitwa geophysics geophysics is a branch of physics which deals with the physical process and physical properties of what of voices and its what surrounding so ukifika kwenye geophysics unaweza kusoma mambo sasa yale ya eh, 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 layers zile layers za, za dunia kwenda chini huku eh, au tazilea zile layers za kwenda juu huku mambo ya mesosphere sio stratosphere uja kuyakuta huko kwenye nini geophysics mambo ya mimea inakuwaje tu sio physical condition ya mimea sio solar energy generation energy generation uja kusoma kwenye nini geophysics hapo form 4 utagusa gusa kidogo na form 6 pia uja kugusa gusa tena chuo naenda ku specify unaenda kwa watu mtu wa geophysics huko mtu mtu unaohusika na mimea manalia uzalishaji wa na ndia nishati asilia so kitu cha mwisho kwenye hichi kipindi ni kwamba naenda kuongelea kipengele cha mwisho cha physics branch ya mwisho wa physics ambayo inaitwa nini electronics sema so, electronics is a basics of modern technology at this time ya hii 21 20 20 20 20 century kwenye ikana ya 20 tuliopo hii 
Electronics is the basic of what? Of modern technology. It involves the study of circuit that are made of semiconductor what? component like diode, napongela transistor, and napongela electronics, napongela yu, napongela yu, circuit ya radio ile. Ule ufumbu, ule ufu, ule utala mulu tumika pale kutengeneza ile circuit ya radio, circuit ya TV, na zanu, na utabaye na, vi, na vidude vidude pale, situ vika, vina, vika pasta, vika pasta, vingine vika kama vitenki, vitenki, ukivikuta savile, ile pale e, teknolojia ule ujuzi, wakutengeneza kile kitu, naitua nini? Electronics. So, pale kuna vitu kwenye ile circuit kama vidu, kuna vitu vingine vinaitua diode, kuna vitu vinaitua transistor, kuna vitu vingine vinaitua integrated circuit, Asa, and what, most of the communication device are made of what semiconductor what material so na hapo kwa naongelea simu imetumika kwa imetumika kwenye hichi kipengele cha electronics simu imetumika kwenye kipengele cha nini cha electronics na hapo ngelea computer kwenye kipengele cha electronics cha physics kwa physics is one of the most important subject in our daily what our daily life so up to here ya buwa kipindi ni kilefu acha tukutane kipindi kijacho thank you for watching and have a nice time huko na mimi dr mlelwa Lecture, mwalimu wa physics and mathematics, anodi, amri, engineer, mwenyea.